Do you remember the story about the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, thrown into the fiery furnace? Yes. As looking at that scripture recently, and something stood out for me. When they were delivered, when the chains or ropes that bound them fell off in the fire, the Bible tells me that Nebuchadnezzar looked and he said, he called to his advisors. He said, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? How is it I see four loosed and walking in the fire? Loosed and walking in the fire. The Septuagint says that Nebuchadnezzar attention was drawn to the furnace because of the praise that was being offered up by the boys in the fire. There's something significant about this. They were thrown in the fire to be killed in the fire. The things that bound them were burnt off. The people who threw them in were killed by the heat of the fire. They were loosed and not dead. Don't you think it's time they come out of the fire? But I'm inspired by the boys. When they got loosed in the fire, they did not try to come out of the fire. Instead, they started walking in the fire. Giving God glory in the fire. When Nebuchadnezzar looked, he saw them walking in the fire. Why should we walk in the fire? Why shouldn't we come out as quickly as we can? Because walking, first of all, is a sign of authority. What you walk upon you take authority over. This place was a place that was used as a threat. This place was a place that was used to destroy the hopes and aspiration and faith of the men of God. But God delivered them. He did not deliver them out of the fire. He delivered them in the fire. Sometimes it is okay to stay in the trouble a little longer. Why? Because the trouble is not doing what it was created by the enemy to do. It should have sent you crazy. It should have caused you to be suicidal. It, sh it should have totally destroyed your faith. But even though the trouble has not ended, you are sane, you are fine, you still believe in God. Well, walk in it. Praise God in it. Glorify God in it. Let the enemy be disturbed because they will realize that what they are doing has no power over you. It is okay. When you run out of it, it suggests fear. God says, I'm with you. You are more than conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. So, when you're more than a conqueror, you don't run from fire. You walk in fire. Take authority over the fire. Live in the midst of it. And show forth your victory. Let's talk about this one. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to hearing your views. 
And as we go through this weekend, I pray the blessings of the Most High God upon you. Trust God and live.